What the hell is happening guys? El Stevo here. Hope you're all good. I'm pretty good. Uh, Thursday evening, about quarter to seven, a couple of days late, but that is because last week I went very overboard and sucked it off. So I thought I'm going to do it a little bit differently. To hell with getting my video out to get views. That's not what I'm all about. I, this is a hobby. I'm reviewing TV. I'm not here to suck off every TV show. I'm not here to make a video about it every show five times a day and do three videos about each trailer that's not how I'm doing things and I'm not gonna put a video out an hour after a show's aired saying how amazing it was when you think back and you think actually no nah, it weren't that amazing so hold tight guys flash episode 2 paradox coming right up after I've had a sip of this You'll have to excuse the long intro there. I've been really, really hyped to get back on camera. Obviously, you guys know from before, if you've watched, and my missus has been ill this week. So it's been really, really tough to keep the routine going, keep the kids going, keep myself going. So I'm a little bit wired. But episode two, Paradox. We'll start with the good. West Allen, it had to end that way, pardon me. It had to end that way, didn't it? Um, good old Barry tries to put things right because he's such a good guy and he gets his third kiss with Iris. This one hasn't been erased by time. Yay, go team West Allen. Other good things, Tobin Bell being Dr. Alchemy's voice. That's pretty damn good. Um, Cisco showed a little bit more depth with his acting. We, we got good, some good stuff there. Um, Tom Felton's um, debut. I actually quite liked him. He is playing the typical curmudgeonly Brit come doesn't like Barry Allen because he's suspicious of him and he even says to him I've got you sus to no one else has. He's playing a very very Draco Malfoy type role to Barry's Harry. Barry's Harry, 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 Harry. Uh, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. A lot of people are saying that um, Julian Bourne's going to be, uh, is it Julian Bourne? I think so. It's going to be Dr. Alchemy. But I think that's far too obvious. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. There is something sus about being in this timeline. I don't know whether he's got some kind of time plan or I don't even know. Does a time plan even exist? No idea. But he's there for a reason. I don't think he's Dr. Alchemy. I'm going to put it out on the line now and say he's not. There's other ideas as to who Dr. Alchemy could be at this point. I'll go into that a bit later, maybe. So basically, he started the episode. Barry realises that he's caught things up in a bad way. He goes to see Felicity uh, at the Ar in the Arrow Cave. And it turned, this basically sets up the episode. Uh, Felicity basically says to him, Joe and Iris aren't talking. You've never kissed Iris. There's a new guy at your work who you hate. Dante died. Cisco's pissed off at you. And Diggle has got a son, not a daughter. Okay. And she's called Sarah. And No, he had a daughter called Sarah, but now he's got a son called John. So she basically tells Barry, he's like pudding, to go and fix it. She said, everybody likes pudding. Guess what? I don't fucking like pudding. Also, I don't fucking like Barry Allen anymore. But we'll get into that. Overall... Um, bringing uh, alchemy brings Clarice back, and it turns out that alchemy can, um, in the other timeline, he can give the people that have powers there. He gives them memories of the powers, and can give them their powers in the real world. So I think this is going to lead to maybe Wally getting his uh, powers back. But it also is a good way to keep the villain of the week come in, keep it fresh. So I like what we've they've done with that. There is a lot of things I like, but. Yeah. Paradoxes and powers. That's all I can say about this episode. Do you want some powers? Yeah, you have powers. Fuck it. You have powers. Powers, powers, powers. Fucking everyone have powers. Just no. It, it really, everyone doesn't need powers. You, you've got Jesse coming back. Cisco. Caitlin. What What next? Well, Wally's going to have powers. What next? Joe? What, are they going to give Joe powers as well? Harrison Wells will come back and no doubt he'll be have some sort of powers. Um, Earth one Harrison Wells. What the hell's happened to him if he about four hasn't took over him? Out oh, great. Um, I've seen a couple of guys on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. I will think of him and I will link you. But he 
um, has had the exact same thoughts as me that Alchemy is Earth on House of Wells. Go Gar, but I kind of agree with you on that. But powers, everyone getting powers, it, it's just, it seems silly. And the paradoxes, it's just, I've seen people on Twitter saying, obviously the ratings for this show, the last two episodes, haven't been fantastic. I've seen people on Twitter saying, these opening episodes are far better than season one and season two. Uh, no, they're not. Fuck off. No, they're not. I started watching this show and episode one had me hook in like that. If I watched episode one and two of season three of The Flash, I wouldn't watch the rest of it. it. Obviously, you don't start a show with season three. But Mr. Johnny Casual off the street sees episode one and two, Flashpoint and Paradox, and goes, what is this convoluted, paradoxical, the main lead character is a selfish fucking villain, emotionless, I get everything I want and nobody else gets anything they want, little wiener baby. I don't know whether this is a long-term heel term for Barry. I was saying this last week after I thought about the show. Don't get me wrong, I, I still love this show. I, I still love it and I'll continue to watch it. And I know they, what they've done with Flashpoint, is, it's not easy to fix it. But Barry, is there's something, isn't, isn't just not him. The Barry Allen that we were given in Series 1 and Season 2 is not the same Barry Allen as now. It, it's just not. It's... Uh, What's happened to Earth from Harrison Wells? When Barry keeps going back in time to change the timeline, every single time it's for a selfish reason for him. It's the biggest heel turn ever and it's just... I'm so, it just doesn't make sense. Hopefully, over the season, it will get fixed. But at this moment in time, Barry Allen as a character is not working for me. And this show... Julian absolutely said it right. There's something not right about him. He shouldn't be trusted. And he's got, he's got it absolutely bang on. I don't know how if they carry on this way. How are we meant to pull for the guy? Do you know what I mean? I, I just can't see it. I don't see how they are making me want to pull for Barry Allen at the moment. I, I love this show. I'm just not not I'm not with this, this storyline. The first two episodes have been obviously coming off the back of last season, which was a roller coaster of a season. And the Kevin Smith episode, uh, Run Away with Dinosaurs, was it? Was amazing. And it was such a roller coaster season. And then season one started, season three started, sorry. And it, the, the audience has dropped off. But that's understandable from season two being such a roller coaster. But if they carry on like this, the ratings are only going to go one way. Um, and that's not, not me being horrible. But I'm, all these people on YouTube and Twitter sucking this show off and saying, the first two episodes have been amazing and all oh, this and that. No, it ain't. It really isn't. It ain't. It's still filmed well. The cast still do an amazing job. Grant Gustin, I'm not in two ways about it. Barry Allen is one of the best, well, most well-acted characters on TV. But the way his character has been written this season, maybe even towards the end of last season, is just wrong. And I don't agree with it. I'm hoping they're, they're going to pull it out of the bag. Obviously, we've got... Um, we got Edward Claris, um, he's locked up, but it looks like he's going to go free. Um, we're going to be doing the villain of the week thing again. Um, Harrison Wells is back next week. I'll probably do a breakdown of the trailer, but it'll be a very... Yeah, I will do a breakdown of the trailer. Maybe. I won't do like five and do five theory videos. But I'm sure there's plenty. If you, if you want that kind of stuff, there's plenty of people that do that. If you want a positive review, if, if, then there's plenty of people that do that. I'm here to review the show, I'm here to be honest, I'm not here to pander to comic book geeks um, just because they think the show's amazing. I'm sorry, but the first two episodes just ain't, haven't been the best standard. Hopefully they can change that. They pulled themselves out of a hole with season two. Season one was some of the best television I've ever seen. So I've still got high, high hopes for this show. And I'm hoping that this is a long run heel turn for Barry. Because if it isn't, it doesn't make any sense at all. Um, what else? What else have we got here? Obviously, Cisco started to work out his problems with Barry. Um, yeah, Tom Felton basically playing Draco Malfoy. Uh, sister, um, Cisco and Caitlin. When Julian was mentioned, 
they were like, oh yeah, Julian, he's great, he's, he's awesome. But they said it as if they kind of didn't know him. There's something not quite right. I don't think he's alchemy, but there's something not quite right. And also, when Barry got them all together for a dinner and sits there and suggested a field trip, what the fuck? No, you've ruined all their lives. How many times now? And you sit there and you want everything back perfect and you want everyone to love you and you suggest a fucking field trip. Wally said yes because he felt sorry for you, dude. Yes, you've kind of sorted things out, but you can't keep shitting on these people, mate. They're, 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 your, they're your family and they're your friends and the way you treat them, they're like your little toys and you just go back in time and you get bored of them. You, you can't treat people like that and that's not how a hero is. That's not what a hero does. A hero sacrifices himself for his friends and his family. He doesn't sacrifice them for his own needs. And that is my problem with Barry Allen summed up in two sentences. West Allen at the end, obviously fantastic. Um, Barry and Iris will always be together. Whatever the timeline, whenever, whatever happens, them two will always be drawn to each other. And that's amazing. Okay. Cisco obviously came and saved Barry from Claris. Claris is in prison. I'm not sure if that was Savitar at the end. We'll find out next week. Obviously, Magenta is the title of the next episode. Hopefully, um, we start getting a little bit more back to normal. Um, hopefully, Barry doesn't suggest another kayaking trip in the woods. But other than that, I'll be watching. Or we will be reviewing. Leave a comment. Please subscribe. I know I'm probably going to get a few irate people if anyone actually watches this. I don't do it for views. I don't do it so I can sit here and tell people that this is the best show on TV because it's not at the moment. I do this because it's my hobby and I love it. Um, I've got to do Designated Survivor. That'll be out tomorrow now because it's a little bit late. Hope you all have a good weekend and I will see you on the flip side. Peace out. I'm really, really sorry. I don't hate Barry that much. It's just annoyed me the last couple of weeks. Peace!